waiting on that guy. Let's see. Are we leveling in properly here? We are actually. Let's make it a little smaller. So my audacity is kind of laggy. How weird is that? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to try something a little bit different. Um, I want to be making a series called Thoughts on Thursday, or at least that's what I think it's going to be called. Um, you probably already saw it in the title what the name of this uh, series is going to be because that's what's going to be. It's going to be a series that I want to create periodically. Um, I'm thinking weekly um, because I've noticed <clears throat> that I've been having a lot of just random thoughts throughout the week. You probably recognize this like shower thoughts or just random thoughts throughout the week when I'm working or when I'm just hanging out with friends and um, usually I, I just tell them to my girlfriend or tell them to to, to my friends and um, we have a nice discussion about them sometimes we agree sometimes we don't and it's it's very interesting to to talk about uh, whatever thoughts come to your mind um, uh, just random friendly thoughts it's really I think a good thing to, to talk with people about them and see if you can learn more because sometimes you're wondering something and somebody else has that knowledge or sometimes you're wondering about something and once you uh, say it to someone else they might be wondering the same thing and together you can sort of find new opinions and find new knowledge and I think it's a that's a good thing uh, especially in, in, in this day and age when we're all maybe locked up at home or maybe uh, working from home or whatever uh, I think it's a good thing to uh, <clears throat> also keep progressing and keep developing ourselves even though we might not be able to go outside all the time and do all the things that we want to do it's still a very good thing in my opinion at least to develop so uh, this series is really going to be me rambling i found out that working with a script and working with uh, just specific things for me to say is pretty difficult um, it works better and usually like my last video they're a little bit more constructed because i worked with a script on that one um, but i also felt like when i was editing it, editing it that there was just a layer of engagement missing or a layer of I don't know it just felt a little bit less real I mean it was informative and I wanted to make that video don't get me wrong but I feel like when I'm rambling and just sharing my thoughts and sometimes I I say the wrong words sometimes I don't use the correct grammar in English um, but I feel like that makes it a little bit more real and you're sort of really chatting with the real me and not the me that made a whole script for a video and then recorded that anyways let's get to the first episode of Thoughts on Thursday, and that's talking about getting older and how computers are like coffee machines. So last month I turned 22, and uh, if you're like me, then you know that once you get into your 20s, life sort of becomes this weird hybrid version of adulthood, um, and that's because a lot of people around you are doing very different things. You know, I have friends that still live at home and do their thing and are still working on college like I am. Um, then I have friends who are like me that live, have their own place but are still working on college. And then I have friends who just finished college and are looking to buy a house uh, with their new wife because they just got married. And all these things feel a little bit weird because everyone is doing something completely different. And for the first time in my life, people around me are not all in the same life phase. Um, I, mean, I guess technically they are, but some of them are just going a little bit faster than others, or at least doing things a little bit differently than others. And the other thing I found out is that once you get to this age, once you get to like 21 and older, growing older doesn't necessarily really do anything anymore for you. And what I mean by that is that when you turn 18, you, in the country I live, are legally allowed to buy alcohol and when you turn 16 um, you are allowed to go take driving lessons and I guess when you're in the United States uh, when you're 21 you're legally allowed to drink but there's this age I guess like when you start in your 20s when there's nothing really new once you get an extra year I remember turning 18 and being really excited because I was able to get some driving lessons uh, I was able to legally buy alcohol um, and it's just like you're an adult you know and it's sort of special because I guess like some things change like when it comes to insurance and everything and it, it's just sort of well I guess insurance isn't exciting but it, the, the fact that 
stuff is changing can be very exciting. But then once you turn 22, 23, 24, that year that gets added um, doesn't necessarily add something new. And the weird thing about that is that because there's nothing new to it, nothing officially new to it, I feel like people are starting to actually make up things that are new for them at that age. I feel like people my age now um, are really going into like new year, new me, trying new things. People take uh, random trips to Southeast Asia and they do all these crazy things because, well, you know, you have to keep developing like our human brain or instinct is to keep getting better you know it's sort of like an evolutionary thing i guess um and full disclosure i didn't go to school for any of this if you want to know like actual stuff about it uh go look up it's probably tons of videos and interviews and books with people that are actually smart and and know all this stuff um i don't but this is again just me and you rambling about random stuff and i feel like uh now i in this age i i sort of have to fill in myself how I'm getting older and, and, and how I'm developing mostly. So for example, this YouTube channel was something that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time, but also with work and with the thesis that I'm still writing, um, you really feel like, okay, I turned 22, what does that mean? Like back in the day when you turned 16, that meant this, 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 and this, because it was sort of like officially recorded that once you turn that age, that is what you become and that is what you are. But then when you turn 22 or 23 or even older, it's sort of like, okay, what now? There's no official uh, age at which you get married. You know, I guess some people want to get married before they're 30, but there's no law or there's no thing that constructs that. It's actually very fluid. And I think that's a good thing. I mean, I'm very, very grateful that I live in a free country where I can get married whenever I want to whoever I want. Car passing by. But now for the first time ever, there's no government or your parents or anyone trying to uh, tell you what to do or trying to tell you how to take the next step. That's sort of what I'm trying to say. And this idea really has confronted me. Well, that's not necessarily the good way, but it's made me think about getting older a lot because I'm sort of confronted with it on a, no, not on a daily basis, but maybe on a weekly basis. Like, I mean, a friend's getting married, other friends like buying a house. And if you're in your twenties, you most likely will recognize this that sometimes it can be a little bit scary because you're like, okay, well, should I be buying a house? Do I have enough money saved up to be buying a house? Things like that, that just confront you uh, about your age and about what life phase you're supposed to be in as to where you actually are. And this has just made me think a lot about getting older. And one of the things that kept coming back to me was technology. Um, as you've seen in some of my previous videos, I'm a pretty big tech nerd when it comes to cameras, but also video games, computers. Uh, technology is just really interesting in my opinion. And obviously one of the things that we envision or when, when we think, think about technology and getting older, it's usually that the older you get, the less you understand about technology. We all have this stereotypical idea in our head of an elderly person trying to work their smartphone and then their, their 12 year old grandchild coming and explaining it to them and knowing how to work that smartphone better than the elderly person. And that made me think because how can it be that an elderly person doesn't know how to work a smartphone but a young child does? And I went down that train of thought and I found out that Usually when we see little children working with smartphones or tablets, we're all generally amazed at how well they know how to work it. You know, you always have like parents and grandparents surrounding like a little kid that just grabs uh, a mom's phone or, or, or the family tablet. And it just starts like three, four year old children to start working on iPads and, and smartphones and whatever. Um, and it's almost like a second nature to them. And they really know how to work it and they really know how to find their game that they like to play. They know where to swipe and they know what button to touch. And it gave me uh, this idea, like how is it possible that a little child knows how to work this better than like an elderly grown up, essentially someone that has worked their whole life, someone that has done 
a lot of things and someone that is most definitely not dumb. Generally speaking, it's not like when you go from 40 to 50 that you're dumber. In fact, most likely you're wiser. You have more life experiences. You made more mistakes that you can avoid in the future. How come those people don't know how to work these machines and little kids do? So one day I was in the car with my dad and we were talking about this same thing about how older people uh, usually don't know how to work a computer and they don't know how to fix them and they come to younger people for help. And I was talking to him about it because my dad's a programmer, he works in IT, so he knows a thing or two about computers. And even though he's a little bit older, like he's close to 50, um, he still really knows how to work computers because it's his job. Uh, but then I look at other people his age and they don't necessarily know how to work the same machines that he does. And I was like, well, that makes sense. He's a programmer, it's his job. So it makes sense that he knows more about the thing that he works with than other people. But then it made me think like, hold on a second. If a little child knows how to work like a smartphone or a tablet, maybe these products are not built to be complex. And then I started to think about it a little bit more and then it became really obvious, like, of course they're not. Smartphones uh, like Android, iOS, uh, iPads, they're all made to be super, super simple because if they're simple and not too complex, then billions of people will be able to use them instead of making them very complex and aiming them towards IT specialists. I mean, how many IT specialists are there in the world? A couple million? But how many people are there that want to listen to music, take pictures and share them with friends? Billions. So it makes sense that a little child that is three, four years old knows how to work an iPad. That's not special. Well, I mean, if you're watching this and your kid just figured out how to work an iPad and you're really proud of them, I'm very sorry to tell you, but your child is not necessarily extremely smart because they know how to find their game on an iPad. And then I started thinking more about what computers are nowadays. If you look at say a tablet. Essentially, it's a big glass surface with big buttons on it. And you start swiping and you can just press these buttons. So for a little kid, it's no different than working an elevator, right? It's just like a big button with an arrow up and an arrow down. And even small children will be able to understand if I press down or up, it's going to happen. Like if, if you press a button, something is going to react. So that elevator might come down. And the same goes with these products. And I started to talk about this with my dad, how I think that these are just really not computers anymore. And they're just big devices with big buttons. And then my dad is like, yeah, well, nowadays, computers are not necessarily computers anymore. They're coffee machines, big devices with big buttons. And if you press a button, it responds like you have with the coffee machine, you press a button, the water starts heating up and you press another button and it starts pouring coffee. It's as simple as that. And tablets and computers work the same way. <laughs> I don't know what that last stuff was. It's really warm in here. I have this big ass light on the left here, making me sweat like crazy. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Thoughts on Thursday. I hope this sort of tickled your brain a little bit. Maybe 90% of this was really, really obvious to you and you're like, dude, okay. okay. Uh, or maybe this sparked some creativity in you to go out and make your own videos or go out and talk about this with friends and how you look at this. Uh, if you have other opinions or you think something else or you agree with me in a different way, put it down in the comments. Um, leave a thumbs up if you liked the video, leave a thumbs down if you think that it needs some work and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so you'll be notified when I make another Thoughts on Thursday, which will most likely be next week, but I'm not sure yet. But again, thank you very much for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.